don't have to race for Stacy. You have NASCAR find you another team. You're Dale Earnhardt. You know why Elder told you not to leave Stacy? Because there's a hell of a lot more drivers than there are racing teams. Even somebody good as you. T. Wayne, why don't you tell Earnhardt here what we've been tossing around? Well, when Junior told me that you and Stacy would be lucky to last another week, well, my people at R.J. Reynolds got a little concerned. And we tossed it around, and this is what we came up with. Richard here is going to retire from driving immediately and put you in his car if you agree to join his team. You need to give up driving, Richard? That's what it takes to win. Now, here's the deal. You drive for Richard. Junior's going to provide quality parts for his mechanics. In exchange, you'll bring your sponsorship along. Now, if you agree, you'll be racing with Richard next Sunday. You won't miss a weekend. No disrespect to you, Richard. But, Junior, I'd rather the race for you. You already got the winning team. I ain't about to go back to stroking. Might as well ask me to start losing. You know what I like about you, Earnhardt? You'd do anything to win. Even saw poor old Richard here. Now, you know Darrell Walker's my driver. You really think you boys could be in the same family? Cain and Abel in the same family, weren't they? <laughs> hey, see? That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> Can I have a minute with you, Dale? Excuse me, fellas. I hear you, uh, Came up hard. Mm -hmm. So did I. <laughs> My daddy died when I was five. Instead of going to school, I uh, was out delivering moonshine to the drink houses in the black neighborhood. <laughs> and I quit that when uh, I saw a guy get splattered up against the wall by a shotgun blast. But the one good thing in my life was Bowman Gray Stadium. God, <laughs> the racing I saw. Curtis Turner and Lee Petty and Junior Johnson and your daddy, too, yeah. Ralph Earnhardt. There wasn't anything else in this world I wanted to do but drive a race car. And I did, too. 284 races without a win. <laughs> Look, there were better drivers, Dale, but nobody, I mean, nobody was a better hustler. And where it all got me was right here with you, with the chance to do what I know, and I mean I know I will do best, and that's run a team. Look, here's my idea. We're gonna build an unbreakable car and put a fearless driver in it. I'm talking about a bulldozer that won't break, a, a car you can bang up all you want and it just won't quit. Now, nobody's ever done that before, Dale. And for that, well, I'm, I'm willing to give up the thing I love doing most. I'll tell you what, Richard. Let's go out and kick Waltrip's ass. Well, let's go kick all their asses. <laughs> and uh, you just try to keep yourself in one piece, okay, Earnhardt? <laughs> I just told him, hell, write what you want about Earnhardt. He can't read that. Right? Oh, boy, now, hold on. Now, don't let that little son of a bitch get you out of your game. Listen to me. You can badmouth my driving all you want, but it ain't right you telling the press me and my boys are stupid. You hear? Now, what ain't right? That I'm saying it or that you're stupid? Look, you want me to lay off Earnhardt? Like you've been laying off trying to knock me into the wall every chance you get? Hey, man, that's racing. That's different. Really? 
Yeah, so talking to the press is all wrong. But trying to run a guy over, that's okay. Talking to the press is just part of the game. Hell, if you'd like, some of my boys here could go down there and help you put some sentences together. <laughs> Look today, Daryl. Let's go back with the leaders now as cars number three and 11 go down the main straightaway into turn number one with 386 laps now complete. Good time to look at the history book here in Richmond. Dale Earnhardt won this race a year ago. Daryl Waltrip won the fall race. Be patient, Daryl. That was him in the three minutes you think you're getting clear he'll turn you special there's no slingshot it there's no draft it's muscle nothing but muscle horsepower handling tires driver Walter keeps him straight now Walter's on the side side by side down to the inside Now, yeah, Petty's slowed down. He's going slow. It's bad enough when you wreck somebody on purpose. When you try to hurt him. Hurt him, hell, so he's trying to kill you. <laughs> you don't want to kill him himself. Oh, what are you saying, Junior, that Earnhardt intentionally tried to hurt Daryl? Boy, you get that damn thing out of my face, I'm done talking. Well, I didn't mean to wreck him, just meant to rattle his cage a little. Hell of a show, though, wasn't it? You ready? I don't want to go, Daddy. My Dale military school. I ain't going over this again, Teresa. He's going. It's great to going up. I almost got a B in math. You almost got a B? Almost is for losers, Dale. That ain't good enough for an Earnhardt. Dale, he just hit a rough patch. We'll get him through it. You know what Waltrip said to me the other day, huh? He told all the reporters that he could write whatever they wanted about me and my buddies because we couldn't read anyway. Ain't nobody ever gonna talk to my son that way. Now you get in the car. The winner of the 1986 and 1987 Winston Cup, the Intimidator, Mr. Dale Earnhardt. <laughs>